Hey guys, it's um, excuse me, Tuesday. It's also the 23rd of July, and it's also pull up day. <clears throat> I'm gonna see what I can do. Three sets. So I got 20 minutes, 22 minutes on the clock. Um, whatever time I have left after the three sets, I'm gonna do two pump burpees. It is two pump Tuesday, so we'll get the reps in. Max set body weight for my first set. And then I try to match whatever I got um, halfway. So I got 11 on my first set last week. I think I got six on my second set. Then I normally try to um, get the same number on my third set. I'm gonna start doing something different. I'm gonna do a set, my last set with weighted dips. And it's only for a couple reps. So it's only gonna be, uh, I'm gonna start with five pounds and I'm going for um, just a rep or two. My first time doing weighted uh, pull-ups in a couple months. So I'm just gonna keep it fairly light and work up. When I get to, uh, I think, five reps with the weighted pull-ups, then I'll go up the weight. So it might be a snow haul I'm gonna hurt. So let's see what we can do, guys. So, slow 10. It'll take about two minutes. Some days I have it, some days I don't. A lot of it right now is A little bit of grip, big bicep pump. Um, Backwise, I feel like I can keep going, at least for a couple more reps. That combination grip and biceps. Um, we'll just keep plugging away, guys. It's one down from last week, I got 11 last week. Man, I've been wanting 12 for a while. They haven't quite, um, the first seven, even up to eight, felt nice and explosive. And then you, I lose that um, explos explosive, it's gotta be a word for that, explosibility? Don't think that's it. Um, the explosiveness, and that's when the dead hand comes in. I can still get a couple reps after they're hanging, but they're not as crisp. Lacks the power. Take about 30, 30 seconds or so more. I'm a little hesitant about doing two pumps today. Tomorrow's going to be uh, dick day. We'll see how it plays out. That's why I'm not in any big hurry. We'll see how much time I have left to hit the to hit the pull or hit the burpees. So I got ten. Five would be the number for today.
take another two minutes. I got five pounds on my belt. I'll be happy with a double. We'll just see how it goes. About, um, it's been less than a year. Beginning of this year, I was doing more weighted. Uh, body weight stuff, and I believe I worked up to the 16 kilogram uh, kettlebell, so 35 pounds. I don't care for a ton of weighted calisthenics. It changes the nature of the movement, as well as. Uh, Whenever you change out of that grooved-in pattern, um, at certain age, it can become a little more dangerous. They got a couple of weight vests here, and way back when, way back when in the perfect game, <coughs> um, Busy Dad had put out a program for using the weighted vest, and. One thing I noticed for me, I noticed in other people doing it, you're, again, your the pattern of the movement changes. In some cases it became a little more shallow, in other cases people went from a regular grip push up to wider, which places a little more stress. Um, it can be good for the chest, but it also places a little more stress on the, on the delt for me, as well as the pec delt insertion. All right, guys. So after noticing that in my own training, <coughs> I sat down the best. Every once in a while I break it out for a short set of burpee stuff. save my weighted stuff for stuff like pull-ups, dips, even dips I try to be careful as it does change the motion a little bit for me. I'm setting this up for burpees guys.
Two, two pumps, 14 minutes. Started out fast, slowed down, alternated a fast minute with a slow minute. Got 50 plus, slow down, and then I decided just to uh, whittle, whittle, whittle the reps down one by one until what I thought I could do to finish in sprint. It worked out pretty well. Got a good sweat, good pump. Left shoulder's a little tight, so I'm gonna have to be careful tomorrow. Tomorrow again is dip day. Closer, guys. So, two pump Tuesday. It started out as a tribute session last week to our friend Thomas Fahey, two cap, two pump Tommy. Um, and now it's a thing. At least for me, maybe a few others. Um, that gave me, uh, what, 204 pumps. Pretty good, especially after pull ups. Um, and 201 pumps, 200 plus one pumps yesterday. We'll see how that plays out in dips. I don't expect it'll uh, matter too much, but you never know. Um, so I appreciate you guys tuning in, uh, listening to the closing message. That's how my whole channel got started, with burpees, and then I just sat down and started talking about the things that were on my mind, the things that have inspired me, um, and really it's a spontaneous conversation, whatever comes to mind. In the mornings, I have been doing a 5 a.m. reading. Uh, on a live stream with the Dao De Jing, or actually uh, interpretation through Wayne Dyer of the Dao De Jing and his recommendations on how to live it, how to express it, following his year-long immersion into the Dao, which actually became a uh, surrender for the rest of his life. He literally, those last few years, gave himself to the Dao and expressed it beautifully. For whatever reason, I kept putting the book aside. I bought it in 2007. And I kept, I had it on my to read, my stack of to read books, which is actually several stacks. And it kept slipping towards the bottom as the other books came on top. Um, for whatever reason, I couldn't get inspired to read it. Uh, countless times in those years, I read <coughs> the Tao Te Ching itself. And I also wrote my own little book on my interpretation of the Tao Te Ching for those who run and walk long distances. Um, the Tao of Travel. It's available on Amazon if anyone's ever interested in it. It is under my name, Eric McCarty, not Yogi. And I don't know why. I guess I just wanted to be immersed in the Tao itself and my own expression and not read someone else's. For whatever reason, 54 days ago, that is the verse that we're on today, verse 54. For whatever reason, uh, I felt compelled to dig it out of the bottom and read it. And then I felt compelled to share it. And I'm really glad that I did. It's an invaluable book. Had I read it when I first got it, I don't know if I would have gotten as much out of it. And I definitely wouldn't have the means to share it with people. So, books have their own energy, it seems. They're in tune the energy of the universe. They come to you at the right time when you open to them. It's no sense trying to push through something 
when it just isn't your time. And that includes reps. Take what today brings you. Remember uh, what they always say in Bikram Yoga, that you are performing with the body that you have today. Not what you had yesterday, or a week ago, or a month ago. Not what you would like to have tomorrow. The body that you have today. Burpees is a little different. Because each rep is a reflection of each rep. Not of the rep before, not to the rep that comes. It puts you firmly in the present moment. Where we should be. Where we are. Where we can't be in any other place whatsoever. When Ram Das, back in 71, uh, published his book, Be Here Now, the sequel should have been because there's nowhere else you could possibly be. You're already here. You're already here now. Only time present. Only place available. Verse 54 of the Tao Te Ching reminds us that we are authentic the way we are, an expression of the Tao the way we are. We don't have to do anything to make it so, absolutely nothing. And when we are uh, in touch with that authenticity, things become easier, people gravitate towards us, we become teachers of the Tao without having to speak a single word. Remember, the Tao that can be told is not the true Tao. The same with Burkitt's guys. Um, be your message. Show up. <coughs> show up when you're supposed to show up. That doesn't mean every day, if you're not called to show up every day. It means you show up when you're called to. You do the reps that you're called to, and then you leave it behind. You come back another time, fresh, clean, in the present moment, and you get the reps that you're supposed to get each and every session. That's it, guys. Take care.